We've previously talked about how as a form of economic relief to newly unemployed Americans, Trump has repeatedly proposed cutting the payroll tax. Now, you're probably thinking, how would cutting the payroll tax in any way, shape, or form benefit newly unemployed people who aren't on anyone's payroll? And that's the exact question that you should be asking. And the answer is because Donald Trump doesn't really care about the payroll tax in particular. He knows that this isn't going to help anyone economically, but he has an insidious agenda. He's covertly trying to undermine another program. That's why he's taking aim at the payroll tax, and he's trying to package it in, you know, relief language when this is going to hurt Americans more than anything. So he just signed an executive order that allows for a payroll tax holiday. But if he's reelected on November 3rd, he is promising to permanently cut the payroll tax. If I'm victorious on November 3rd, I plan to forgive these taxes and make permanent cuts to the payroll tax. So I'm going to make them all permanent. Now, if you don't know much about Social Security and how it's funded, you may think that that statement from him is just like this benign, innocuous comment that doesn't really amount to anything. But make no mistake about it, he wants to cut Social Security, and that's why he said that. Because the way that we primarily fund Social Security and Medicare, extremely popular programs, is through a payroll tax. So if you can cut the payroll tax, then you undermine Social Security, you undermine Medicare. Now, what Republicans oftentimes like to do is they like to underfund government programs, break them, and then use them breaking said program as evidence that government-run programs don't work. So they then apply a solution because big government, bad, and they suggest, you know, maybe a private company should come along and actually handle this program because they can do a better job than government. It's a con. It's a lie. They break the programs because they want their donors on Wall Street to be able to profit off of these programs that are currently not profitable, right? Wall Street has been salivating over Social Security for decades now. They've been trying to find a way to undermine Social Security, but it's so popular that any politician who has attempted to undermine Social Security has failed miserably. Bill Clinton tried it. George W. Bush tried it. Obama tried to cut Social Security, but guess what? Each time this happens... It fails because there is harsh pushback. But Trump is not trying to tell you his real agenda. He is trying to cut Social Security by going about it in this roundabout way. But make no mistake about it, you cut the payroll tax, you undermine Social Security. Now, if you think that Donald Trump, you know, wouldn't want to do something like this, he wouldn't go back on his 2015 promise to uh, protect Social Security. Uh, he already admitted this year that he is more than willing to look at entitlements. Entitlements ever be on your plane? Uh, at some point they will be. We have tremendous growth. We're going to have tremendous growth this next year. It'll be toward the end of the year. The growth is going to be incredible. And at the right time, we will take a look at that. You know, that's actually the easiest of all things, if you look, because it's such if a you're big willing percentage. to do some of the things that you said you wouldn't do in the past, though, in terms of Medicare. Well, we're going to look. We also have uh, assets that we never... Gee, I wonder what he's talking about when he talks about entitlements. I mean, look, he's, he's laying it out there. So if you are an older Donald Trump supporter and you're the beneficiary of Social Security, a program that you paid into your entire life, the president is taking aim at this. And he already, uh, by executive order, signed a tax holiday for the payroll tax. And if he's elected, he is promising to make that a permanent thing, which means that Social Security will possibly go bankrupt under Donald Trump. Now, they like to already suggest, like politicians, not just Republicans, but on both sides of the aisle, not to both sides of this, but there's this assumption that we have to do something about Social Security because it's going to be insolvent if we don't take immediate action. Except that's a lie. Any politician who says that to you is a liar. Social Security will remain solvent for decades to come. And even after it's not fully solvent 100% currently, then it will remain solvent by 90%, 85%, and so on right? So it's not like we have to do something, but they want you to think that this program as it is needs some type of adjustment. Now by adjustment, they often mean either cut at minimum or in worst case scenario, privatize it entirely. We all know that that's what they want, but you have to understand what they're doing here. They're never just going to say, hey, we want to cut or privatize social security 
because they know how unpopular that would be because people like social security. But if you give them an inch, they're going to take a mile. If you cut the payroll tax and you undermine the key funding mechanism for social security, you end up undermining social security. Now for more on this, we go to John Keeley of Common Dreams who reports, defenders of the program, including the advocacy group Social Security Works, were quick to point out the implication of what the president said and condemned Trump for threatening the program that has kept countless millions of people out of poverty during retirement years or due to disability since it was created over 75 years ago. We just heard it straight from Trump's own mouth. The group responded, if reelected, he will destroy Social Security, commonly known as the payroll tax. Those are taxes paid both by employers and employees as dictated by the Federal Insurance Contributions Act that go to pay for both Social Security and Medicare. Trump's executive order, which seeks to defer Social Security contributions, is bad enough, said Nancy Altman, president of Social Security Works. But his promise to terminate FICA contributions if he is reelected is a full-on declaration of war against current and future Social Security beneficiaries. Social Security is the foundation of everyone's retirement security, Altman added, at a time when pensions are vanishing and 401ks have proven inadequate, Trump's plan to eliminate Social Security's revenue stream would destroy the one source of retirement income that people can count on. Moreover, Social Security is often the only disability insurance and life insurance that working families have. If re-elected, Trump plans to destroy those benefits as well. As the Trump administration has foreshadowed this kind of move for months, economists on Friday warned again that any effort to undermine the payroll tax would do practically nothing to help struggling workers and families, but everything to sabotage two of the most popular and successful programs in the country. Now, that last point to me is common sense. I mean, if your response to help unemploy people who are struggling during a pandemic is to cut the payroll tax, something is fishy there. Like the bullshit mechanism in your brain should be going off. Like there should be red flags that you see almost visibly because that is not a normal response. When you see people struggling and they need healthcare. They need economic relief. I mean, you take action in the form of, you know, uh, extending unemployment. And he did um, have some executive orders with regard to unemployment. But I mean, what you have to do is meet the specific needs that they have. The payroll tax is not going to be on the minds of struggling Americans. Like the only way you would think that this is going to benefit you if you're unemployed is if, you know, when you go back to work, you assume this will lead to you having more money. And sure, if you and your employer pays less payroll taxes, you'll have more money in your pocket, theoretically speaking, in the short term. But long term, you're going to be fucked over. You're not going to be able to retire if he does, in fact, do this, which is why you shouldn't just allow him to do this. Understand the covert agenda that he has here and stop supporting him. Stop supporting people who are attacking the one thing that allows us to retire. So, I mean, look, I've been talking about this now for months and sounding the alarm about Donald Trump's agenda. Like, he's very, very clear about what he wants to do. And you just have to read between the lines a little bit to see that this is about social security. He wants to undermine social security. Cut the payroll tax, underfund social security, then propose a solution to that. A solution. Either privatizing it, you know, raising the uh, retirement age, cutting benefits, something, but it's not going to be good. And it's going to be something that proponents of social security aren't going to like. So, I mean, when you see this, you can't support him. Like the beneficiaries on social security who support Donald Trump, they have to know, like you have to let them know about things like this. They have to acknowledge that this isn't just something that could spell disaster for social security in the long term. Like, you know, the people who are like, you know, fuck you, I got mine. It's just the future generations who are going to pay for it. No, I mean, if he underfunds Social Security, do you honestly think it's just going to be future generations? No, there's going to be adjustments to the cost of living raise every single year that Social Security recipients receive, and that's going to amount to a cut. I mean, you, you just have to understand, this is Social Security we're talking about. It's been under attack by Wall Street for decades now. They've been salivating over Social Security. A private company would love to handle this. Don't let them. We saw what happened with 401ks. I mean, the article alluded to it. They're insufficient. They are insufficient. So do you honestly believe that a private company would be better off handling Social Security? I mean, Republicans always want to prove that government doesn't work by breaking government-run programs. But in this instance, Social Security actually works. 
don't let them touch it. And if he actually does go through with a permanent tax cut or payroll tax cut, I mean, there needs to be people freaking out, taking to the streets because it's unacceptable and you cannot let him get away with this. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.